Hi, in this demo video from Titan and Salesforce, we will concentrate on conditions, how to show and hide fields and how to choose which fields to push over to Salesforce. Let's say we build a form that will allow the user to create either a lead, contact or account in our Salesforce. So I'll say select one of the following and the options will be, don't need the other obviously, this is lead contact account okay that's fine now we need to capture the email address of lead contact or the account user and we want to capture the full name let's bring that and if it's an account we want to capture the account name so let's bring another text box and call it account name However, I do not want to show this account name if they selected lead or contact. So I've got a few options to hide this field. First, I can click on the field in question, go to conditioning, set conditions, change it to basic mode, select show for example when the radio button equals to account. That's one way of doing this and let's have a look. So if we see this form, you can see that the account is not shown if I select contact or lead, but if you select account, account name is there. That's how easy it is to show and hide fields. However, what if you want to show more, more than one field or hide more than one field when an option is selected? That's not a problem. Let's go and remove this condition. So I'll remove that. And you can click on, for example, the source field, the one that the user selects and go from there. So you can click set conditions you can say when the current field equals to account, I want you to go and hide or show it, show the account name. Yeah, you can obviously select other fields to show or hide. That's how it works. Now we've got support opposite, which means when it doesn't equal to account, it will hide the field. Let's have a look. So if I publish this form and I run it, and there you go, account is not there again, and it's there, and so on, and so forth. Now, sometimes you've got complex rules or a few fields that control a field, and it's a bit confusing to know when it is hidden, when it is shown. That's why you can actually click on the field in question, and then go to the condition in affected by, click configure, and you'll see exactly which field controls it. You can even click the show friendly condition to see, oh, okay, I understand when account is selected. And you can go and configure that condition to change it or amend it or delete it and so on and so forth. Okay, so we've done all that. Now we want to push the data to Salesforce. Let's say that we have not made these fields mandatory, although you can in, in uh, form Titan using the mandatory option. That's quite easy. But let's say account name is not mandatory and if it's not populated, I want it to be the full name. Okay, so let's go to Salesforce integration. Click edit on push because we're sending data to Salesforce. And I'll add the account object. So I will select account. The action is created. I can add a rule to say only do this action when I've selected to create an account because I don't want to create an account if the user didn't select account. So I'll do that. And then in the map fields, I will just map the account name to account name. That's how easy it is, isn't it? However, if account name is empty, I want to choose the full name. We have the if empty configuration here, but that only allows you to put a static value. So the solution is to go to conditional and say configure. And here you can say, okay, when account name is not empty, then use account name. Otherwise, use the full name. That's how easy it is to use either the account name or full name. Click apply and it's done. That's all you have to do to create that account with the relevant details. So let's see it in action. So I click account and Obviously, I haven't mapped any email or anything, so it doesn't really matter what I put here. And the main thing for me is to put a full name, so my full name, for example. An account is empty, so I click Submit, and now my account will be created. If I come to my accounts, uh, you will see 
if I refresh the page, you will see this is my account, my full name, because I didn't put an account name. I'll delete that. Perfect. And now let's do it again. And this time we will fill in the account name and we'll see what happens. So I call it my full name and account one, two, three. And if I could spell, that would be dangerous. Click submit. And you can see I didn't fill the email. So click submit. And now if I refresh the page again, there you go. This time it did use the account name field that we have selected and to create the contact and the, the lead it's exactly the same way and um, there's no point uh, showing that however what I did want to show is one more thing if I go back to my account push edit and click edit on account so here if I go to map fields click set mapping I can say instead of conditional I can also say custom and here you can build some expressions. So for example, maybe you want to say the account name dash the email address they've entered, maybe. That's how easy it is to build certain expressions to fill in. So if I say that, and I publish. So this time, if I refresh the page, again, I'll select account, I'll put an email, I won't put the full, uh, full name this time, I'll put 123 here and I click submit. The account name should be 123-ttt.com. Let's have a look. There you go. That's the account and it's all done. Thank you very much.